One of the great features about Telegram is that it's got such a lot of features and such a lot of information you can have on groups and channels, but it does become overwhelming at times if people aren't able to navigate through it. So short of the fact that you create your groups, specifically keep them nice and clean as an administrator, if you have to create a, a, a group or a channel that's got a lot of information and has to keep that information on, like this one here, I've got a resource area which has got a whole lot of links to videos and to YouTube links, etc. Um, you want people to access it quite easily. So if you make your YouTube channel with a description here, Telegram will find it there. But if you're just posting a video on its own, try and make sure, for example, here you see this is just a photo. Um, you can put in a descriptor here of what they are looking for. So when they search, they can find it. Um, here you can see, see article of Supergrow, but maybe I want to say Landbow, which is the name of the magazine. How do I edit it after I've posted it? Before posting it, you can of course add the text as a comment, but afterwards you just tap off the photo or off the video that you're interested in, and then you'll have a menu pop up, and that will give you the options to do an edit. If you click edit here now, you'll see here's the text, see the article, it's this text that you see here. So I could go in there and I could possibly type in Landbow. See if that's the correct spelling. Landbow, yeah. Landbow, uh, say magazine. Okay, and then I can accept that, click the check mark, and you'll see it will update over here. It brings it there and it says Landbow Magazine. But if they type Landbow, they're still going to get to it. So how do we find it? How do we search for it? Interesting to note that if you look at the bottom, you see the message uh, instruction there. Now this is set on to send anonymously because as the admin, you don't want to post there with your personal name or the group name. You're sending it as anonymous. But when somebody wants to search for something over here, you go to the three dots on top there. And if you open that there, you'll see there is a search button. Just look at this very interesting here. This dialog here changes as soon as you click search. So if I click search, I'm going to see a search tab comes here on top where I'm going to type in. And if you look here, you'll see there's two tabs here. And that's very interesting. If you click on the one, you'll see it shows you the dates. So you could go and search for when this was posted in this channel or this group by date. Or if you go back there, if you click onto these, uh, this human and icon, it will click in there and it will show you a list of all the names. I don't want to scroll down all the names there, but you can click on the name of an individual that is posted. So if you click on that, it will go search everything that that person has posted. Okay, and the third way of going through it there now is to actually type the search field on top here. Okay, so if we go in here, we are going to look for, say, cleaning. And pre we're going to click and accept that. You're going to see it goes to cleaning, wherever cleaning is being mentioned. Um, this is home care cleaning products. So you, you'll find it, it's got cleaning in the word there. So it's picking that one up. Um, if you look at the bottom here, it says one of five. That means there's five articles with cleaning in and that little arrows down or up. This one is grayed out. So this is the last one here. If we click here, we're going to go to the next one. And you can see there's cleaning in that word. Go to the next one. You'll be able to see this has got cleaning somewhere in the word. There are cleaners, etc. So that's how you go to search. So this word will help you to search and you can use things that have been posted by certain people and that would just be on whichever date. So if I click here and I go, okay, let's go look at 2021. We jump to that date. It will take us right to 2021 and what was posted during that period. So this is quite a, a nifty feature. You teach your people who are in the group so that they don't get overwhelmed. But as the admin, make sure that you label it correctly, put the description words there. You could even create hashtags and people then could search for hashtags. Um, for example, let me maybe just do one where I add a hashtag. Let's see what we can come up with. Um, so this video here, la launch a new vegan vitamin D. If I tap 
there and I'm going to go and I'm going to put a hashtag and let's just call that vegan. Accept that. And then if we scroll away here uh, and we're just going to go in, search again, and we're going to go hashtag vegan. And we search. Here it brings us right to that hashtag there. So hashtags is a very powerful way of categorizing the stuff that you have in your posts or in your, um, I should say, in your groups or in your channels. So have a great day and be blessed and shalom.